the great thing about this DP light system for a cinematographer is that it was designed from the ground up with our input to Technicolor. DP lights is a tool, like a light meter used to be a tool for us. It's a tool that with digital technology, we can come up with the creative interpretation that we're looking for. Where we want to split those hairs as far as you see it or you don't see it. The main point of it was to give back to the cinematographers and the creatives that ability to set the look on set, not bake it in for all time, but at least so that they could have their say, this is what I want my dailies to look like. You know, I feel like I can really feel my way into the lighting. So it's become a, it's become a lighting tool for me. It's part of my, my toolkit now. DP Lights gives me direct access to the look and the session that the DP is using for each shot. So I can come away from set knowing exactly what they intend to do later with the footage. It's like it's part of a, a shooting company's tool set. It's robust. It's built like what a fantastic motion picture camera is. It's solid, and yet at the same time, it's so precision made. Hi, my name is JD Vandenberg, and I'm very excited today to introduce you to the new Technicolor DP Lights. Now it's fantastic that it's just so instinctual. You can do things fast. It tracks everything so that dailies knows what we're trying to do. It handles different color spaces beautifully. It is not hooked into any one specific camera. It is not hooked into any one specific workflow. We are able to put different viewing transforms, different looks into it. When other advances happen, like HDR or ACES, all of that can be implemented in there, and it's not like we're trying to learn how to use DP lights differently. We still interact with it in the same way. The color science of it is then put into the system, but our interaction with it is basically, it's what we see with our eyes and what we do to, to change that brighter, darker, more saturation, less, you know, bring the curve of it down this way. The beautiful thing for me is that it takes the numbers out becomes very organic and makes it all non-intellectual and non-technical. DP Lights now has multi-user access, which means I can have my own account. And the great thing about that is I can take screen grabs that are more relative to what I need, and each one of those has its associated color information. For the last year and a half, we've been working with many cinematographers and DITs to develop very exciting new features. JD came up to us early and we had one of the early iterations of it and it gave us so many more options, so many more possibilities to utilize. But every day we kept finding things that we say, oh, how about this, how about that? How about if I have multiple cameras and I can switch back and forth? How about if I can take still images at the same time? And everything gets applied. And usually a couple of days later we have a version of it. So it's been developing, it's been growing, and it's, it's, it's just fantastic. This is a process like that the best film cameras are, were built. The best cameras were a combination of engineering and listening to artistic intent. And I find that it just keeps, it, because of that it gets better and better. DP Lights was built with the reality of the set in mind. It's also fully ACES compliant and HDR compatible. I get to have access to DP lights and all of the tools that it gives the DP and the DIT, but I'm not in their way. Even though there may be a computer involved in the DP light system, it's hidden. This thing looks like a rack-mounted piece of hardware. It goes into the cart that they have on set. You're not depending on a laptop that might just overheat. And you know, laptops weren't made to be out in the field that much in those harsh environments. I think the beauty is that I can be completely intuitive, that I can be completely visceral and I can just dial. And it's a, it's a touchy, feely thing to get my colors and my contrast right. The DP lights on set just naturally feel like an extension of what a cinematographer needs to just make that palette just right that's going to go out there. So.